Hey guys, welcome to my redstone tutorial series. This series is going to be covering all the basics of redstone and then working our way through to some of the more advanced redstone circuits. Alright, so the first steps to understanding redstone I would say would be relating it to the real world. So let's see if we can give that a shot here. Pick up some redstone, we'll just put it on the ground here. And I would relate this to wires in real life, electrical wire. Because as you can see, I can put this in any direction I want, I can loop it up, I could even put it over blocks if I wanted. I'll just grab myself a block, here's a little tip as well, bit off topic, but if you click the middle scroll wheel button on your mouse while looking at a block, it'll actually pick it up if you're in creative. So it's a nice little tip. Let's go ahead and put one here. Put the redstone over it just so you can see how that works. And so if that's the wire, of course you need a way to power it. And there is lots of ways to power redstone, but we're going to be working with redstone torches, which is the main way of doing it. Well, at least for this tutorial it is. So let's go ahead and place down a torch. And as you can see, it lights up the redstone right there. So you can count that as a battery lighting up the wires in real life. So now that we have wires, and we have it powered by the redstone torch, we could attach things to it. So let's go ahead and put a door at the end here. We'll get rid of the power. And as you can see, the door is now shut. Let's do a little bit of a better example here so you can see the walls. As you can see, it's shut. And if we power the circuit, we can now open the door. So that's the main, that's the main thing that redstone is used for in this game. But it has so many uses, which I'm going to show you right now. Let's get rid of this. We'll move over to here. And here are all the available inputs for redstone. And by inputs, I mean on switches, pretty much. Is that serious? It starts raining on me. Let's do a little command here. Weather clear. And time set zero. That should do it. So here are the, all the inputs in Minecraft. There are more than this. But for this tutorial, this is the basics that we're going to be working with. And there are some outputs, so possible things that can be affected by redstone. And of course there is more of them as well, but these are the basic ones. So, to start off we've got a lever, and there's some unpowered redstone circuit. If we flick this lever, it'll power this block, and then the block will forward it through to the redstone around it. So it'll come off the side here, it'll power the top of it, and it'll power coming off this side. But we're just focusing on straight out the back of the block for now. And it goes exactly 15 blocks and then powers the 16th. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if we go any further, this redstone will not be powered. And if we attach a door to it, nothing will happen because it's not powered. But, it is possible to get power to the 16th block. So if we put a door there, we run back here, flick the lever, flick it again, it'll still open the door. Even though redstone only goes 15 blocks, it does send power to the 16th block. So you just got to remember that, guys. Alrighty. And over here we've got buttons, stone button and wooden button. And they, this, is, this is getting a bit advanced here, but they do have different timings. But if we press it, see it'll open the door, and then it'll shut it, because it powers it. As soon as the button comes back out, it unpowers it again. So that's good for opening things for a short amount of time, or sending pulses. And we'll get into pulses into the, the later episodes of this series. And this one, it's the exact same thing, except the stone button actually powers things for a less amount of time. If I could just power them both at the same time. See, I pressed that first, but they both went down at nearly the same time. So the stone buttons are thick for powering things for a less amount of time. It's hardly noticeable, and I'll probably go into that in a later episode in the series. So make sure you subscribe if you want to stay tuned. And here we have pressure plates. So if you stand on a pressure plate, it'll power the redstone, and it will activate the thing at the end, which I call the outputs. Let's try and get some terms to find it. These are the inputs, they're the outputs. So we've got some doors, everyone knows about them. We've got that piston right there. Most people know about pistons. They're used for pushing blocks. And here, I'm just going to be quiet. That's actually a note block. So you can play sounds and make musical 
sound. So when the door opens, you might also want to play a sound. So you would just like bring the redstone off to the side and attach a little um, note block and it would play a sound at the same time the door opens. Alrighty, so stone pressure plates, exact same thing, except I've hooked it up to a dispenser here. So the redstone goes straight into the dispenser and I put some arrows in it. And every time I jump on this, it shoots an arrow up in the air. So that's pretty cool. I know a lot of possible circuits to do with that, but they will be in future episodes, like traps, so when people walk into your base they get shot by a million arrows right in the face and it'll kill them instantly. That'll be in a future episode. And right here we have tripwire. What I did was put two blocks down, put two tripwire hooks, and then put some string to join it up. So then when I walk over this string, as you can see, it lights up the redstone circuit. And on this side, I put the redstone here just to represent it lights up every possible angle of the thing. If I destroy this, it lights up the top and redstone coming out of each side of the block. Hopefully you understand how that works. It's fairly simple. It's basically, if a block's powered, everything touching it, all the redstone touching it will be powered, including on top. So, over this side, you can see my input, once it's powered, it powers this, and it feeds into a redstone lamp. And the redstone lamp actually produces light. So if we stand over this, bam, we have light. Let's go and grab ourselves one of them. And I'll bring it over here, show you a very common circuit. Let's link this up here. So this would be the lighting in your redstone house. That actually won't work, but let's just do that. So this would be the lighting inside your house. And then this would be your light switch. So bam, all the lights light up in, your, in the roof of your building, preferably. And that's a very common circuit. So I'll be showing you a bit more advanced ways of doing that in a future episode as well. Over here, these are fairly new items to the game. They're called weighted pressure plates. And they get activated by how much weight is on it. Not your body weight, but items. So let's grab ourselves some items here. I've got some coal. If we chuck one piece of coal, It'll light up one square. If we chuck more, it lights up the second one and third one. If we keep chucking more, it'll eventually keep lighting up the redstone. Now it's all the way up to here. So one more block of redstone power, and it'll activate that. Oh no, I stepped up, picked up the coal. Let's chuck it down. Nearly there, come on. There we go. So. The amount of items I put on that pressure plate determined how much power came out of it. And when it hit this block, it unpowered all those trapdoors right there. So we'll pick it up, and it will unpower this circuit. Just like that, and that gets unpowered. You can attach anything to that, of course. So lighting, music, pistons, whatever you want. And this one here is just a way heavier version. So you need to chuck stacks of stuff onto here to get it to open. Let's just chuck a couple. See? I'm chucking the same amount as what I had on the other one, and it's not even powering two blocks yet. So this is just the heavier version of that last one right there. If we chuck the whole stack on there, it should light up two blocks. Where'd, the, where'd they go? What? What? Glitch! I glitched the game! The coal's gone, guys! I'm a hacker! <laughs> Alright. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover this episode. I am going to go... A talk about a little bit what I'm going to cover next episode and what I'm going to be covering is repeaters and a couple of other things in here this is the redstone section in creative so I'm going to be covering repeaters and also some really basic circuits to get you going hopefully this was a good introduction and hope you understand it a bit better and as always guys have a great day don't forget to chuck this video a like to support the series and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more See you later.